have been released at a press conference in Pretoria. Shortly after 10 o'clock on the morning of the 4th of February, Corporal Mario Oliveira was on patrol in the border area and was shot and wounded during a contact. Within minutes, a helicopter had been summoned and medical orderlies were administering first aid. Rusty van Druten looks at the events which followed. At six minutes past 11, a mere 18 minutes after being summoned, the helicopter arrived and Corporal Oliveira was evacuated to a nearby field post where a medical officer took over from the orderlies. He detected acute respiratory insufficiency and inserted a drain to extract approximately 750 millilitres of blood from the chest cavity. A litre of fresh blood, donated by a soldier on the spot, was transfused and the patient was flown to Oshakati. During the flight, clinical data was transmitted ahead, including blood type to enable medical staff to collect more blood from base personnel. Two hours after the first alert, Corporal Oliveira was admitted to Oshakati sick bay where surgical staff were standing by to operate. By this stage, the patient had lost 1,500 millilitres of blood. The surgeon, Captain Paul Ilov, and his staff, including the anaesthetist, Captain Kurs Reinecke, both citizen force doctors, first thought they had to do with routine gunshot wounds. But it soon emerged on examination that Corporal Oliveira had been hit by an M60 rifle grenade, which was found to be still embedded in his chest, and could explode at any moment. Captain Ilov takes up the story. It remained stuck, how hard we pulled, because the fins wouldn't budge. They had separated the ribs and were tightly clenched by these. To remove it, our fingers weren't strong enough, and we took a red-hot piece of metal, uh, melted a little hole in the fin, and hooked a wire through it, and bound that to a piece of cord, and then we stood behind um, armor plates, which were brought into the theater, and pulled it out. After that, the patient bled profusely, but we expected that because of the place where the bomb had entered the patient, and immediately started operating on uh, these big vessels to repair them. And very fortunately for the patient, and for us too, we were able to save him and repair all that had to be repaired. Just a month later, back here at the press conference, he's perfectly well again. Now I'm all right, I'm going back to shoot again, if right. Were you very afraid during the operation? No. Captain Furry, could you give us an idea of what the M60 grenade actually is and how it's used in battle? The M60 grenade is a rifle grenade. In fact, it's a fragmentation rifle grenade and it's primarily used is against personnel. Um, it is launched from a rifle called the SSK rifle. SKS rifle, it is fitted to the muzzle and launched by means of a launching cartridge. The effective range of this grenade is in the region of 60 meters up until 400 meters.